Hello and welcome. It's a new year. Welcome to the first art day of 2018. My name is Sarah. I'm the artist by Pinselgeschichten and today, well, I'm gonna work uh, on a drawing um, in this newly purchased, well, I purchased it maybe a month ago or two months ago. <coughs> But I purchased this uh, notepad here, 50 sheets of toned gray sketch paper uh, by Strathmore. And uh, I do want to do some more drawing this year and work on drawing skills and such. So get ready for <laughs> a couple of videos. That will definitely be around drawing. I did um, look uh, on the web for maybe a fun list that uh, could help with inspiration and such. And I found one that has just uh, 52 prompts um, that seem kind of random. And uh, well, you can use them or I will use them to spark inspiration for what I want to draw. And uh, since it's the first video in the new year and it's the first drawing video and uh, all of that thing, uh, I thought let's go a little easy uh, on myself with the prompt. And I did go for the first prompt in line and that is a piece of clothing. Now, <coughs> as you can hear, my uh, voice is still kind of... Uh, not really here yet. Um, so I'm sorry for any coughing or my weird voice, but well, it is what it is. I have a cough drop in my mouth. It's all going to be fine. I hope you had a great uh, New Year's Eve, by the way. Um, this is actually New Year's Day that I'm filming this. Now I gotta go to my reference photo on the iPad that is next to me because I forgot um, uh, what I had in mind. Uh, I'm, I'm using a reference photo I can't show you because it is um, uh, not available for just showing on the web. Um, it's not a photo that I have taken so I don't uh, use it and show it because I might not have the rights to do so just to make sure I'm not going to show it and it's just a rough uh, reference photo I'm going to change up a couple of things there and the piece of clothing that I uh, thought I'm going to do is actually a leather jacket and I did uh, buy one on my honeymoon um when, when we did, did we travel, let's see, eight years ago? Yeah, I think it was, yeah, 2010. So I bought a uh, leather jacket there and I really love it and I still have it and I still wear it. It's uh, very, very cool. And I just thought, well, why not? Why not uh, draw that jacket? It's... Uh, it's maybe something to start the the uh, drawing skills with. Um, it's a dark, very dark brown, my jacket. The reference one here is kind of light brown and is it has different details than my jacket has. But it is essentially the same cut. So I can use it to just get <coughs> proportions <coughs> correct so there's the color and I'm just using a normal um, school grade graphite pencil nothing fancy I do have way fancier pencils and such but I thought um, you know uh, we kind of sometimes um, hold ourselves back with things we want to do because we think we don't have the tools. And at least for drawing, I can say that's not true. It's just a pencil and a piece of paper. And you can definitely do uh, 
some work there. So I'm deciding to have the jacket open. The one in the reference photo is closed, by the way. It's on a mannequin, but that's not my thing here. And I've been drawing and sketching and painting and doing artwork for so long, so, so many years. But still, uh, I think there's a lot of room to improve for me. And still, I feel... Well, there's not only a lot of room to improve, but uh, I definitely um, am better in some parts than I am in others. Say, for example, um, I'm really good with colors. Uh, choosing colors that fit together, make them work, uh, all of that. Um, that's really, well... A skill that I um, well improved on. I don't want to say perfected because it sounds so so um, well uh, arrogant. There, it's not perfected, but at least intermediate, you know. But then there's other skills that <clears throat> I did maybe not focus on for the last couple of years and well they are not on the same level as for example the colors there is uh, I think sketching for one so drawing sketching uh, proportions and such uh, I'm or at least of some parts uh, I did portrait work for the longest time I don't really anymore and I was fine with drawing faces no problem but anything else like body position or something that's definitely a skill that I did not um, develop as much because I didn't practice and that is one thing that I always say to people. Um, people say they cannot draw because they don't have the talent that I have, which is, excuse my French, this is a bullshit. Total bullshit. It's, uh, it might be uh, a passion that um, artists have for doing art, but it is actually just the time that you put into the work practicing, drawing, coloring, all of that, all the time, over and over again, until you, well, have the muscle memory, until you have it right. So, I do, of course, have a passion for colors, and that means that I did spend way more time with colors than with maybe... Um, um, drawing certain things and when it came to drawing I did focus on faces not so much on uh, on other objects so on some level I'm just starting to put in some detail here on the jacket some seams uh, on some level, I'm definitely uh, way more skilled and trained when it comes to drawing than I am on other levels, just because, well, I didn't choose these objects as my subject to draw. Now, uh, da -da -da -da. let's go with... This first. So yeah, and I thought, well, why not? Why not change that this year and have a focus on drawing? And not only drawing. Mm, 
portraits again where I'm actually kind of well maybe a little more on the intermediate level but what about drawing things that um, I did not really practice to draw a lot before so it's very different when it comes to your line work um, when you work on say architecture and people that's like <laughs> one end of the spectrum the other end of the spectrum uh, there's there's a definitely a difference there and uh, I think I just want to no, that's maybe a little too much of a curve. I just want to uh, bring the drawing skills for non-portrait uh, drawings. I want to bring them to, well, maybe the portrait level. That would be great. <coughs> and I had said it in one of the videos last year, I think it was around October maybe where I announced that I would focus on drawing quite a bit this year but um, it is it is also the the case that I'm pretty good at quick sketches so something like a two-minute sketch totally fine or the I'm working three hours on something but I'm not really great at the 40 minutes or the medium amount of time kind of and that line is not correct um, kind of uh, drawing so I want to focus on the medium amount of time that I spend on drawings. <laughs> Hence, I thought, well, let's bring it to art day, because then I can definitely practice the intermediate uh, amount or the medium amount of time, something like 40 minutes, 50 minutes, because I do have uh, a time frame in my videos. I go for maximum two hours of recording time. And um, that means with talking and maybe adding a little bit of color here and there or doing only the shading work uh, in the end, um, I would probably go for about 40 minutes, 30, 40 minutes maybe for the for the sketch. So um, I thought, why not, right? Since I don't have New Year's re resolutions, I don't uh, do them. I never did. I'm not planning on doing them. Um, but this is pretty much the closest thing to something like a New Year's res resolution um, when it comes to, okay, this is what I could work on this year in my art. And not to the point that it's a challenge, but it's just, hey, let's, let's focus on certain things. <coughs> Sorry. Certain things in artwork. And this year it just so happens to be Drawing. So this would be the zipper line here. And the zipper is down here. Of course, I do have a glare from the lights. Ah, there we go. So now I can go on to the details. Uh, my jacket has pockets. Uh, 
that have pretty neat seams so they are really visible like here and then let's see uh, I do have do have somewhat of an application here also with one of these buttons that I also have on my um, on my sleeves there we go and then I just have uh, these ruffled elastic kind of a thing going on at the bottom of my jacket but it is also in leather it's not in any kind of other fabric So let's bring that to this point. Mm. And there's, uh, let's see, no, the, uh, the color is total leather. So the, um, I don't even know what it is. Is it cotton or is it some sort of silk or something? that starts lower something here and there's also the loop for hanging up that jacket um there's another thing i just remembered i do have these uh flaps on the top also with the button and I don't have to look at the reference anymore because it was just for especially the color and the length of the arm so the the sleeve not the arm <laughs> the sleeve so uh, let's see let's go for this here All right, now the question would be how to shade because the outlines are done and I don't have any other uh, lines or seams or something decorational here on my jacket. At least I don't remember any. So what I would do now, and this is the point where I definitely drag my <coughs> graphite pencil here, which I'm not very fond of. So this pencil really sits on top of the paper and wants to move <laughs> to points where it's not supposed to go. So I'm going to shade it, the light is going to come from the upper left hand side, just decided that. So I'm just going to start um, shading this jacket.
And since this is kind of a medium textured paper, it actually uh, doesn't need a lot to have shading going on. So let's uh, go here on this side. You see, I have the pencil, I hold it at the very end, which uh, means I cannot apply a lot of pressure to the pencil because I, I really don't need to have a lot of pressure. So um, I can make sure not to apply too much by just, well, having my pencil held at the end. And bring in the shadow. I'm going over all of those lines. Don't worry, I can go in and do something like this afterwards. See? So don't be afraid to shade, I guess. <laughs> uh, you can always bring in details later. And I guess what you, if you want to come along on the trip this year and also um, work on your drawing skills, you could always, well, find something in your surroundings that you would like to draw and just do it. Just draw. And eventually you will definitely... Um, get better because well you you build the muscle memory you train your eye so you will get there
on this side here I'm gonna shade way less because again the lights coming from the upper left hand side so there will only be a little bit of a shadow here And then there's gonna be a little bit here. And then just along the zipper. the sleeve here ah, now it gets annoying here with that ring on the ring folder but well we can turn things and shade the other way around so something like this And again, drawing in the details. Probably a little bit of a shadow here underneath the pocket. Darkening up uh, the line so that it fits with the other um, line there when it comes to darkness and thickness and such. Have it be on the same same level there.
It's maybe a little too much there. So I'm going to bring in the other. Kind of eraser. It's especially great for these kinds of uh, chalk or um, pencil drawings that are almost like charcoal. Because this is a quite quite the soft pencil, so you can actually by just dabbing things away with that eraser, you can actually well make for a nice mid-tone. <laughs> now that I have the main things down. Hey, that was just 30 minutes. That was way faster than I thought. But then again, this is just one object. Not necessarily the most intricate one at that. But I now can Start with maybe a bit of color or highlights or something like that. You know what? Maybe I should just have a cloth hanger in there. Because it kind of looks weird for, for now. So why not have something like this going on? It's the great thing <laughs> about pencil. Just darken it up if you want to add something there. Could also actually bring in a little bit of a white pencil only, not color per se. Haven't decided yet what I want to do there. Let's see, what do I want to hang this on? Do I want to have a hook or do I want to have something like, a, like a, I don't know, one of these more fancy things? Oh no, just go for the hook. 
maybe something like that. course I have to get rid of this part here because that would be behind the hook or well behind the front of the hook here let's shade that little thing You have something like a couple of those maybe on a board. And this is what I like about these kinds of um, uh, lists where you just get a couple of prompts you see I'm developing a scene here with just the um, prompt of a piece of clothing <coughs> it didn't say make it a scene or a scenery make it part of a drawing or a, draw, a whole scenery drawing with one piece of clothing in there. No, it just says one piece of clothing and I can add whatever I want to add to it to make it a scenery maybe. Or just, just a little something, you know. I like that about prompt lists where you can develop one thing that is prompt to 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 the point that you want to you don't you can just go with a sock if you like and just draw a sock in this case or well you could do something like i'm doing here and develop a whole scenery with the drawing of one piece of clothing and I didn't have this in my head when I started drawing just thought I would have the jacket maybe I don't know have a scarf or something somewhere next to it or whatever but I didn't have the cloth hanger or this uh, board here in my head that was all non-existent
Now the question is, do I want a color in there or do I just want to go with the white? I'm kind of thinking just the white, but I don't know yet. So maybe white and a color? Uh, it's all <laughs> so many choices. <laughs> Oh, very difficult. So let's go in for the highlights. I'm using a luminance white pencil, by the way. Because I think that has a very nice coverage on top of the toned paper. Hmm. <laughs> let's go for the zipper line first. By having the color, uh, the color pencil, mm -hmm. the graphite pencil underneath the white, it automatically shades the um, zipper line to where it's supposed to be shaded. And then of course the buttons here, they need a bit of the white. Same here. Just going where the highlights are. There might be a bit of a reflection or something from probably a lamp that is just up here somewhere. Hmm. I'm wondering if I'm gonna give this. Oh, I forgot the second part of the zipper line here because that's also metal. I'm wondering if I'm gonna color the inner part of the jacket. For my jacket, it's um, it's uh, beige or cotton colored. Uh. But I don't know if I want that here as maybe a bit of a color spark. Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> Difficult decision. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know. It's really difficult. Do I want to? Do I not want to have this? Hmm. 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 Ah, come on. Why not? Let's go for a dark orange. Because I like orange. Just have the inner part. Alert. But I'm definitely gonna tone it down with my graphite pencil here. This paper really takes pencils very well. Didn't apply any pressure for the orange and it's woof in your face. white here Just darkening up some of the shadows here, just make them a little more prominent, a little darker. Just to hype up the contrast. I have to tilt it because uh, with the filming lights this is really glaring, especially here, up here on the color section. With the white and the black it's really glaring and hard to see.
There we go. The jacket. First, first drawing of the year. It's done. Let's uh, write down the date. It's the first of January, twenty eighteen. There we go. So uh, I hope you enjoyed watching along. Um, I wonder if you are trying to well. Uh, improve your drawing skills uh, if you want to let me know in the comment section below I would be uh, very curious of um, well what what your plans are for this year what you want to improve on in artwork what do you want to practice a lot and I'm going to be back next week with a new video um, the photos and pencils, materials, such things are on my blog, so you can go to the webpage that is in the description box below and you can find uh, information there if you like. And uh, I'm going to see you if you like this video, th give it a thumbs up. Uh, I would very much appreciate that. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more, hit the subscribe button and the bell button so that you're notified whenever I release a new video. Uh, take good care, have fun, do some drawing, do some artwork this week. Uh, have a good one. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.